Hello, my name is John Lena. My name is Zach Rogerson. We're here to present our ultrasonic sonar system. We started this project with a desire to uh, create something that could measure uh, distances. And we eventually came to sonar after finding this sensor. Uh, along with parts from our provided tinker kit and being provided access to 3D printers, we were able to create this prototype. It's all started with rough drafts and sketches provided here of just generating ideas of how we can get our sensor to spin and we, so we can cover a vast area instead of what was directly in front of it. And then we were able to get our hands on the sensor and we were able to take measurements and move on to the next step, which is solid works. And as you can see here, this is an assembly view. Might not be that big, but what it consists of basically everything here and here. It started with a platform big enough to support everything and contain the red board, red board, and the, all the circuitry comfortably. Then we move on to the body here, which is a provide support, uh, support for our sensor and gears. Uh, initially, we have a servo hidden under here, connected to this gear that allows for the rotation. In this model, uh, we were actually going to have what's called a slip ring in here next to this, ne uh, next to the servo gear, so that the wires up here could rotate freely while being, while the ones underneath could be remain stationary and not get tangled up with the breadboard. We also had to go through many different designs for some of the parts. Initially, our servo gear was way too small to be compatible with the radar gear. And sometimes the radar gear was too small to accurately fit and support the sensor itself. But after a few redrafts and a few reprints, we, able, we were able to physically construct this and start working on the code. A little bit about the project outcomes. While we were working on the project, we were able to finish our first prototype, which allows it to measure up to 40 degrees at the moment, and it spins at a 150 degree angle. But as we were designing and putting together this prototype, we discovered some possible improvements that can be made after this internship is over, such as the previously mentioned slip ring, and possibly a servo that spins at a 360 degree angle, which will allow us to get a better view, a better coverage area, and also potentially a stronger sensor which will allow us to measure at a further distance, more reliably. Why don't you show them the visual? Uh, Thanks. Sorry. Yeah. So for our first prototype, this was the visual, the physical aid we were able to develop. Uh, as you can see, his hand is being picked up. It is being marked. Fashion is with his dog, the wall. Just something simple for now, but we do intend to work on it more and hopefully develop it into something bigger. Also, while working on this project, we were able to gain a lot, such as more experience using SolidWorks and how to actually design these 3D prints, along with them being our first time using a processing software, which actually gives us the visual aid, as you saw earlier. All in all, this was a successful project. Uh, we obviously could use a lot more work, but due to time constraints, we did our best, learned a lot, and hopefully we'll continue learning. If my partner has anything else to add. Nope, that's it. So wrap up our project with its entirety. Thank, Thank you so much for this opportunity.